Hello, welcome to my channel subscribe or like if you like it. Today we are going to talk about the medicine acetylcysteine, we will explain its mechanism of action, side effects, dosage, uses, contraindications, warnings, pregnancy and indications. The trade names of acetylcysteine are, fluomucil, locomucil, lysomucil NAC, mucomist, acetidote, acetyl 5. What is acetylcysteine? Acetylcysteine is a drug that acts by decreasing the viscosity of bronchial secretions, facilitating their expulsion. Mechanism of action of acetylcysteine It depolymerizes the mucoprotein complexes of mucus secretion, decreasing its viscosity and thinning mucus, activates the ciliated epithelium, favoring expectoration, cytoprotective of the respiratory tract, precursor of glutathione, normalizes its levels. What is acetylcysteine used for? Therapeutic indications and pathology of acetylcysteine. A. To facilitate the expulsion of mucus secretion in catarrhal or flu process. Oral. Adults, 200 mg 3 times a day or 600 mg in one dose, maximum 600 mg a day. Patients from 12 to 18 years old, 200 mg 3 times a day. Children from 6 to 12 years old. 100 mg 3 times a day. B. As coadjuvant in respiratory process with excessive or thick mucus hypersecretion, acute and chronic bronchitis, COPD, emphysema, atelectasis due to mucus obstruction and other related pathologies. Oral. Adults and children over 6 years of age, 600 mg in one dose or 200 mg 3 times a day, children from 2 to 6 years of age. 100 mg every 8 hours. C. Pulmonary complication of cystic fibrosis. Oral. Adults and children over 6 years of age, 200 to 400 mg every 8 hours, children 2 to 6 years of age, 200 mg every 8 hours. D. Fluidizing of mucus and mucopurulin secretion in catarrhal otitis, tubercular catarrh, sinusitis, rhinopharyngitis laryngotracheitis, prophylaxis and treatment of obstructive and infectious complication by tracheotomy, preparation for bronchoscopy, bronchography and bronchoaspiration, acute and chronic bronchitis, asthmatic bronchitis, emphysema, bronchopneumonia and slowly resolving pneumonia, lung abscess, bronchiectasis, atelectasis, prophylaxis and treatment of bronchopulmonary complication by surgical intervention attenuation of expectoration effort, to facilitate bronchoaspiration in anesthesia and postoperative period, bronchial catarrh associated with pulmonary tuberculosis, retention of secretion with insufficient drainage of cavitary lesion. In pediatrics, bronchitis and bronchopneumonia, especially of slow resolution, bronchiolitis, mucoviscidosis, some forms of neonatal asphyxia, 1 ampule 300 mg acetylcysteine of 3 ml. Nebulization. Adults and children over 12 years of age, 300 mg 1 or 2 times daily, children under 12 years of age, up to 300 mg 1 or 2 times daily. Installation. Bronchial and tracheal, adults and children, up to 300 mg 1 or 2 times daily. Intranasal and auricular. Adults and children, 10 or 20 drops 2 or 3 times a day. Mode of administration of acetylcysteine. It is recommended to drink plenty of fluids during the day. Take with or without food. Contraindications of acetylcysteine. Hypersensitivity to cysteine-related compounds, gastrointestinal ulcer, asthma or severe respiratory failure, children under 2 years of age. Warnings and precautions with acetylcysteine. Risk of increased airway obstruction or bronchospasm, greater via inhalation, with asthma, history of bronchospasm or other severe respiratory insuff. If bronchospasm occurs discontinued, oh, risk of serious adverse skin reactions, Stevens Johnson syndrome and Lyles syndrome. Reevaluate clinical situation if after five days of oh, no improvement, if gastric discomfort occurs, reevaluate clinical situation. Interactions of acetylcysteine. Do not administer in conjunction with antitussives, bronchial secretion inhibitors, anticholinergics, antihistamines. Possible chelating effect, 
may reduce bioavailability of Fe, Ca and O salts, space at least 2 hours. With high dose increases clearance of carbamazepine, greater risk of epilepsy. Increased hypotension and headache with nitroglycerin, warn and monitor blood pressure. Incompatible with amphotericin B, ampicillin sodium, cephalosporins, erythromycin lactobionate and some tetracyclines, separate at least 2 hours. Pregnancy and acetylcysteine. Reproduction studies in animals have not demonstrated risk to the fetus, and adequate and well-controlled studies in pregnant women have not been performed. Therefore, its use is not recommended during pregnancy. There are no or limited data on the use of acetylcysteine in pregnant women. Animal studies do not suggest direct or indirect harmful effects in terms of reproductive toxicity. As a precautionary measure, it is preferable to avoid the use of acetylcysteine during pregnancy. Lactation and acetylcysteine Insufficient information is available concerning the excretion of acetylcysteine in breast milk, therefore, it is not recommended to use this drug during lactation. Effects on driving ability with acetylcysteine Acetylcysteine should be used with caution in those patients whose activity requires attention and drowsiness has been observed during treatment. Adverse reactions and side effects of acetylcysteine Infrequent, hypersensitivity reactions, pruritus, urticaria, rash, bronchospasm, headache, tinnitus, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, 